Okay, this is the video tutorial for RPS. Um, just a small gameplay tutorial. First thing first, moving the camera. Um, hold the middle mouse button, and that allows you to rotate the camera. Or you can use a scroll wheel, mouse wheel to scroll in and out. If you don't have a middle mouse button or scroll wheel, the F key will allow you to zoom in and out, and the R key will allow you to rotate it, the camera. Both, you hold the key, you move the mouse. Um, here we go, we've got our side, we're red and we've got the enemy side there green, that's an AI player so they're not going to be nice and wait for me to finish the tutorial in the middle we've got a load of victory points or capture points and the numbers next to them indicate the number of points they are worth um, up here we have the scores and teams that shows what the teams are um, and it also shows what score each player has a complete circle is a victory or in annihilation complete circle means that you have all your ships Okay, you can see they've sent off a load of scouts here, so let's get into it. Selection is the left mouse button. You can drag a box or you can click on a unit. If you hold the shift key and select, you can add to the selection. And that works both for clicking and for boxes. You can also save groups with the control and a number key. So hold control, press a number key, um, and then they're saved. I've just saved them to group 9, so then by using the key 9, I can select the group. These are your HQ ships and your build ships. They do all your building. So, nope, let's do movement first. So you, when you give an order, it's sent to all the ships you have selected. So I've just selected them all. You can send an order by right-clicking. I can right-click on a victory point, I'll tell them to move there. Right-click on an enemy, they'll follow it and attack it. Or move to a point in space. To move to a point in space, click and hold the right mouse button. You get a height, you get a movement indicator. This indicates from the point in the 2D plane that your mouse is on a height which gives you a 3D location. If you press the control button, that will allow you to set the height relative to that point. And if you let go of the right of the control mouse control key, that will go back to setting a 2D point, but will maintain the height you set. So we're going to set quite a high height above the central point. And there they go. If you press the shift key, you get the height of every object, so you can see where objects are relative to each other without having to move the camera around. You can see that you're quite high up and you're quite low down, and they're actually not very close to each other. Okay, let's bring them back here, because we don't want them to get lost. Okay, we want to do some design. Let's build a scout. So you design menu, design button, will show that, or the Q key will toggle it on and off. Um, all ships need batteries. Um, and a scout really just needs drives, so we'll do batteries and drives. We'll go build ship, and we get an error message which says we haven't selected a build ship. If we go back to the menu, we haven't selected any command ships. Every command ship that's selected will build the ship when you click build. So I go build, it will build one at every one. And the circle there, the pie chart with the green bar, that's the build state of the ship. You can build multiple ships at once, um, but big ships take a lot longer to build than small ships. Here you go, it's building as we go. Um, you may also notice when I click build it cleared the design, that's quite awkward. So there's a design store screen. If you press the X key that will bring up the design store screen. Um, and we can store our design into a slot. These can be accessed with the F keys. Control F1 will save it into that slot. F1 will build from that slot. So if you go Control F2 that will save the same design into that build slot there. Um, and then if we go F2 the command ships will all build one of those ships. Nice and easy. Let's make something a bit grander. There you go. Let's save that into control slot 2. There you go. And then we can build a whole whack of them just like that, just by using the F2 key. Nice and easy. Um, right. Let's send them off to capture some victory points. Um, victory points are the aim of this game. Killing your enemy doesn't really gain you anything. Um, so you want to get ships out to victory points, but you don't want to spread yourself too thin that you can't hold them. The AIs don't actually play to the victory conditions at the moment. That needs to be programmed. It's not a large amount of work, but it's something I haven't done yet. For now, they'll just try and kill you. A lot. Okay, minimize that. Design screen. Hull is non-regenerating armor. It takes several hits from a weapon to destroy hull, depending on the mode you're in. 
Um, so hull tends to be survivable short term, but it doesn't regenerate. Weapons do damage to your opponent, um, and shields are regenerating armor. They have much less health than hull, but they regenerate. So that's quite good. Drives make your ships move faster, and batteries give you power to charge shields and weapons. When you run out of battery power, your ship can't shoot or raise shields, which means they're kind of useless. Down here you get the energy cost, 44.2, and you get the block cost, 10. That's 10 blocks and 44.2 units of energy. If you look on a command ship, you get our two pies here. You get a blue one and a yellow one. The blue one is blocks. Every component you add, irrespective of whether it's small, medium, large, adds a block to the design. That makes it build slower. It means it takes more blocks. Um, and it will make it slower. Um, not linearly, slightly more than linearly, it will slow down. Blocks regenerate continuously, and there's a limit to how many command ship can hold. The yellow is energy, which was set on the menu at the start of the game, and that is a fixed amount. There is a limit to how there is a set limit for energy for the whole game, and that gets used for building ships. So you've got to be careful. That will burn away fairly quickly. Um, and if you just build willy nilly and you ignore, you don't worry about what you're building, and so that can cause you future problems quite a lot. Okay, I'm just grouping some of our ships up there. Um, as you can see, our scouts are capturing capture points here. They're doing quite nicely at that. The enemy hasn't actually tried to stop us, so that's going to be quite easy. When those bars are complete, that victory point is captured. We will gain the score, and the victory point will move off. Um, other things, team. With the T key, you bring up the team menu. You can change what team you're on. Um, you can't select the team you're already on, that's highlighted, um, but you can choose another team. If we go to team 1, that will put us on the same team. That means we're allies, we won't shoot each other, the AI will treat us as friends. It's a pretty dull game, so we'll go back to being on separate teams. There you go. There's a terrain menu. Um, disable shields, disable weapons, focus fire. That will disable all shields in an area, all weapons in an area, and that will make ships concentrate their fire on a sp single enemy ship. Makes them more effective against big targets, but they tend to waste fire. These enhance type 1, 2 or 3 shields, or type 1, 2 or 3 weapons. That makes them recharge faster, so weapons fire faster, shields charge faster. Um, you can put them down, same as you would move. Um, that's with the right mouse button. The control allows you to set the height. <coughs> you could put down markers with the M key. M and a right click will allow you to put down a flag marker. You can also do um, positioning for one. If you press the M key, then hold right click and position it as if you're positioning it on the map. They can. You can give orders to them just by right clicking on them and you will automatically move to them. So you can set up waypoints you regularly use um, or you can flag important enemy units. Okay, there's quite a big attack force here coming in so we're going to have to deal with that soon. Let's finish this up. Okay. You can group with control and number. I think I've covered that. Control 1 makes them group 1 and then I can select them all and select them with 9. Um, if you hover over someone and press the caps lock key you get an idea of exactly what that ship has got. You can see all the components in it. You can't do it to an enemy ship until you can see them. Once they get close enough you can see them. You can then get an idea of what they've got. Um, that's on exactly the same system as the design menu. Okay, I think that is everything we need to do there.